Hey, I'm Emory Hill, sports writer Manny Navarro, here with uh, two of the smallest offensive linemen you've ever seen. We here, we here with Big Worm, you know. <laughs> you big sauce. Yeah. TJ Slayton, Kai Herbert, uh, two of the nation's best offensive linemen, highest rated offensive linemen. And uh, I'm going to start with you, Kai, because you already committed to Michigan. Why uh, did you decide on Big Blue, and, and when did you make that decision? Why did you do it, and, and are you going to bring this guy with you? Uh, the reason I decided to go to Michigan was because they have a – short on offensive linemen and the rich history in offensive line as well. Uh, there is amazing. And, you know, um, when I was up there, the coaches said, I have a chance to play early. Of course, I got to go in and earn it. But there's nothing like it. And they're building a legendary class. So Michigan's a place to be. And of course, I'm trying to get Big Worm over there with me too. All right, Big Worm. So. Uh, what is your college situation at the moment, man? I mean, obviously we've heard Michigan rumors. Uh, what what do you really? What does it really come down to? Uh, I just leave all my options open. I want every college to get a chance to talk to me and get a chance to look at me and how I perform. Have you narrowed it down at all? I mean, have you told some of these schools, all right, look, I'm down to six, I'm down to five, whatever? My top five is Clemson, Tennessee, Michigan, Florida State, and Florida. Okay, and that's where you're going to be taking your visits? Uh, I actually want to take a, a visit to Virginia Tech because they're very, they're very like consistent with talking to me. Mm -hmm. So that's the one I want to go to. I also want to go to Ole Miss and Clemson. Okay. Now, I, I want to sit here and talk college to you all day. I'm sure that's what, what the people watching the video want to hear because that's all they care about is college, college, college. But you guys are kids. You, you're enjoying life. You got going into your senior year. What are you guys most excited about going into your senior year? Uh, going into my senior year, I'm just excited to be back with – the people from last year, most of the people from last year, and I'm excited because this team is going to win a state championship this year. What? How, how did you guys not win the state championship? I know Hollandale was talented, but take me back because you guys were on the field for that. I was shocked. I was surprised that Hollandale was able to pull that off. James Houston. That was the, that was the reason why we <laughs> lost. <laughs> yeah, you got to shoot the defense down like that? You got to throw them out like that? Nah, because nah, I, was, I, I was on that play in defense when uh, he scored that touchdown. It was a very sad moment because like, the play – was designed for uh, Brian Burns to inside contain, and then we were we were there to make that 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 sack, and he just threw the ball, and like nobody was there to catch him. Yeah. So how, how do you guys pick up the pieces? How do you come back, win a state championship? I mean, you've done it before. You were on a state championship team before. Uh, is there enough on this team to definitely win it, or or is it some guys gonna have to step up? Oh yeah. Uh, on this team, we could definitely win it. Um, of course, we have to mature and step up. Everyone needs to know their assignments, and we can't have that many mistakes this year because that's basically what cost us last year in two games in DeMatha and in Hollidale. Uh, we, we beat ourselves. We actually could have won undefeated, but we beat ourselves. Well, yeah, this, this is a lot. That game was a lot. I actually started to enjoy it. I started to enjoy it, like, way more because, like, a lot of people on my team, like, tell me and some of my coaches tell me that I don't like football but that game that was a good game it was we had a lot of minimal mistakes but it happens you can't win them all all right so um talk about some of your teammates that are sitting here um can any of these guys hang with you in, t in terms of bench press or anything like that any of these guys stronger than you guys George Ellis yeah George, George Ellis and George Zach Sambrano and Nessa Silvera okay but other than that you guys are one and two pretty much yeah all right. and, and who eats the most here? Who, who can put down the most pancakes, the biggest scrambled eggs? Who's who's the best eater on, on the team here? Uh, I would say TJ. Abe. I think it's Abe. You think it's Abe? Abraham, yeah. Okay. Now, w when it comes to pizza slices, is it by slices or by boxes with you guys? Uh, it's by boxes. Okay. That's, that's Jade. That got to be Jade. Or, or um, uh, ex extra fat. Uh, uh, George Ellis, a.k.a. extra fat. That's what you yeah. guys call him? Yeah. All right. Um, all right, getting serious for a second. Um, what, what, what game are you looking forward to the most this year? Is there one that you circled on there, or are they all important? You're going to give me the company line that they're all important, or is there one that's a little extra special? Uh, each, each game is important, but, you know, I'm really looking forward to the Booker T and Cole Quick game. Booker, Booker T, T for you? Booker T, yeah. why, why Booker T? Because of this man right here. They haven't said anything to me, but they've been talking to him, and like, I don't like that. I, I hate people talk. I'm not a big talker when it comes to playing games. I'd rather let my game talk, but that's I've heard that I've heard rumors that some of my teammates be getting hits of, hits from them from Twitter, mm -hmm. and like I'm not a, I'm not big on talking. I hate when people talk. Okay, so you guys are uh, ready to shut them up, is what you're saying? All right, all right. Well, listen, you heard it from two of the smallest offensive linemen I've ever seen. 
I'm Manny Navarro. See you later.